this is what your notes should be set up and what they should look like for this video and this tutorial. How do you solve a system of linear inequalities? In the previous tutorial, the previous video, you viewed how to solve a linear inequality just graphing one. Now you're going to have to graph two and you're going to have to look at the part where it's shaded and it's overlapping of shading. So I have a few examples to show you and then I have um, one example for you to try on your own. Just a reminder, before each example, go ahead and pause the video, write it down, and then play it so you can follow along with what I'm doing to solve. Let's review some prior knowledge. Uh, for, in first semester, chapter 3, you learned how to graph the solution of a compound inequality. So let's go ahead and look at this one. We have x is greater than 2 and y or excuse me, x is less than 5. Since there's only one variable here, we're going to graph this on a number line, and there's going to be some overlapping. So here we gonna ha we'll gonna have 0. I'm going to need the point 2 and the point 5. So from 2, it's going to be an open circle since there's no bar underneath it, just like a dotted line. And we need all the values for x that are greater than 2. So all the values for x that are greater than 2 will go this way. For 5, and since it's an and, we are going to have an open circle for the less than, and x less than 5 is going the opposite direction. And the overlapping of these two is going to be right here in the middle, so I always want to make sure I shade this part a little bit more darkly. And notice it's going to give us a shopping cart or the Drake, Dre Beats. I almost said Drake, how funny. Dre Beats. And this is just a review of chapter 3. We're going to be doing the same type of idea, and this is going to be similar to this section, which is the last section in Chapter 6, 6S7, six Solving a System of Linear Inequalities. Example 1, solve the system by graphing. So our system, remember, contains two variables, and it has two equations. So here we have two equations, and... One equation has two variables, the other one only has one variable, but we're going to still graph it on the same coordinate plane. So I'm going to go ahead and do the first one in red. Uh, y less than or greater than 3. This is going to create a horizontal line at y equals 3. And since there's a bar underneath the inequality symbol, it is going to be a solid, solid line. Okay, if I, since it's less than, it's going to be below the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and shade below the graph for that solid line. Okay, notice how I'm focusing on each line. So now I'm going to focus on the second line, and I'll graph it in black. Actually, let me change that color. I want to do the overlapping in black. So I'm going to graph this in a different color. Let's see. We'll graph the second line in purple. And then the overlapping will be in black. So for this one, I need to start at positive 5 on the y-axis and go down 1 over 1. I'll make another one, down 1 over 1. And since there's no bar underneath the inequality symbol, it's going to be a dotted line. And since it's less than, it's going to be below the graph. So I'm going to go ahead and shade below the line. Excuse me, not below the graph, but below the line. And notice where the purple and the red overlap. Well, I'm going to shade that with black, only where the purple and the red overlap, because this represents the solution to the both of systems of inequalities. In the previous tutorial, you only graphed one line and shaded. Well, now we have to graph two and show the overlapping, since they are a system of inequalities. They are together, and this shows both their solutions combined. Here's example two. We are going to solve the system by graphing, and we have our system of equations, but notice the first line, which I'm going to use red for the first one. The first line is in standard form, and it has to be in slope-intercept form to graph it. So I'm going to rewrite it. That's why I have this scratch paper here. I get 2y greater than 2. Remember, to get it in graphing formation, I need to get the y isolated. So I'm going to add 3x to both sides. Add 3x. And I have 2y is greater than or equal to 3x plus 2. And then divide everything by 2. And I have y is greater than or equal to 3 over 2x plus 1. Now, 
I'm going to graph. Remember, I graph my y-intercept first, and I'll go up 1, 2, 3, and over 1, 2 for my line. And because there is a bar underneath the inequality, it's going to be solid. And because it is greater than, I need to shade above the line. Remember, you can also test the point to know which side to shade. But I showed you a few tricks in class where now you can shade just looking at the inequality symbol. The second line is going to be in purple. It's going to be in purple. And I'm going to graph the at 3 first. And it says go up 4 and over 1, but that will go off my graph. So I'm going to go down 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and over 1. It's going to be the same thing. And down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. And since there's no bar or the inequality symbol, it's going to be a dotted line. And since I have less than, it is going to be below the line. So the below the line is this way. And I'm just shading, looking at the purple line. That's all I'm looking at is just the purple line. When I shaded for the red, all I did was look at the red line. And notice where the purple and red overlap is right here in this small area. So I'm going to shade that with black. And now that shaded part represents the solution to both inequalities, to the system of inequalities. Go ahead and rewind these two examples and rewatch them if you had a little difficulty with the shading and the overlapping. And review it on your own. When you come to class, we'll go over a few more examples together. Here is an example for you to try on your own. For each graph, for each graph, one, you need to state the system of inequalities and give a sentence describing the solution. So you got to do two things. State the system of inequalities and give a sentence describing the solution. So this is the first graph here and the second graph. Looking at the, each set of graphs, come up with your own system and that would mean create the line for the red dotted line and find the inequality for the blue one. And in the last video, I showed you how to do that. And then give a sentence describing the solution. Notice there's no overlapping. You just have the purple side over here, or the blue side, excuse me. And then over here, you have the red side. But notice there's no overlapping. So how could you describe that as a solution? And looking at number two, there is overlapping. Right here, where it's like this light purple, this is where the two lines overlap, the blue and the red. So what does this solution mean? And come up with your system. That means come up with the inequalities for the blue line and for the red line. Okay, go ahead and pause the video now. Come up with the systems and give a sentence describing the solutions. And when you keep playing, you'll see the answers for one and two. Okay, I'll assume that you paused and tried this out on your own, and here's the solution for one and two. On number one, the system, here is the inequality. This first one is going to represent the red line. And the second one will represent the blue line. Oops, there we go. And the sentence describing the solution is the system has no solution. Notice there's no overlapping. It's all bare in the middle. So there's no solution. There's no point where the red overlaps with the blue. And looking at number two, the blue line is the second one as well. And the red line is the first one. And notice that the sentence describes the solutions are all points between the parallel lines but not on the dashed line. So the points are all right here in the middle. This is his full solution, right here in the middle, but no point on the dashed line.